Hey what's up guys, so yesterday I made my first recipe type video and I made it similar to how Daniel Schiffer makes his videos he's a great role model for me, you should go check him out so this is how it went Hope you guys liked that video and today we'll just be talking about step by step process of how I made the, how I made this video and some tips and tricks that you can use to implicate into your own video. So tip number one, you want to create a shot list. You want to look at a recipe and select every action, every material that is in the recipe, jot it down and incorporate any, anything that could be made in transition from the recipe. For example, he's using that whisk. You can use that as a whip shot. Follow the motion and then whip it to your right. I want all of that to be written down on paper. So before the shoot, you know exactly what you want to do. So when planning, think of movements that can be incorporated into the shots, into the equipment, into your materials. Tip number two. When in doubt of the transition, always overshoot rather than undershoot. Shooting on the day is never gonna be exactly the same as what you expect. Things are gonna occur, the weather's gonna change, the location isn't what you thought the location would be. Your ML lighting dies, which is exactly what happened yesterday at the shoot. My lighting dies, so I had to use this little light over here to get that last shot. I actually made it look better, in my opinion. Tip number three. That will be to use your eyes rather than the screen on the camera when shooting fast actions. For example, at the very start where I shot that that egg coming down. Initially, I was using my screen camera and there's always a delay because my eyes and reaction and the delay on the camera is always too slow. So I had to reshoot that really many times, at least six, seven times. We had to use eight eggs or something like that to shoot all those shots. But I realized that if you're using your eyes to capture the action, it's much more accurate and you can maybe get it down in three shots. You have to work your way around the material that you have and always overshoot, find different angles. If you're not sure of what transition you're gonna do, find different angles, have different actions so you can play around it in post-production. Also, this is like a bonus tip. If you're following an action, always use manual focus rather than auto focus. Why, you ask? That's because in fast movement, for auto focus, it constantly tries to find what the main subject is. So it goes out of focus, in focus, out of focus, that jitter. Tip number four, use speed ramping motion blur and sound effects to amplify and add to your transition to make it seamless. I can't stress this enough. In transitions, the sound effect plays a massive role and creates this motion blur that is magic. So for the egg example I used before, where the egg comes down for one shot and on a different shot where the yolk comes down, I have to make it so that the positioning and the speed is the same and that is through positioning and speed ramping. I made the egg exactly in the middle throughout the first few seconds, slow it down and then made it quicker when the transition came. 
that's what made the transition seamless. Add a bit of motion blur, a sound effect, and this is what it sounds like. Here's just the sound design for the video. And here's with the music. Alright, shout out to Daniel Schiffer for being such a good teacher on YouTube. He's literally one of my most inspired person that taught me so many shit, including transitions and like seamless stuff. Yeah, shout out to him. Peace out.